salon, salon. You know what, y'all? I was thinking about the trap and the trap, neutered, and return program that a lot of states are having for stray and feral cats. I was just thinking, like, do something like that program really benefit? Do it benefit the cats or do it benefit us or do it benefit both of cats and humans? Um, I think majority of the cats that get done with those programs, trap, neuter, spade, and then return back into their environment, um, which they would be called like community cats or whatever. I feel like that benefit more of the human than the animal. But there are or like, you know, organizations and you know, charities that don't just cuz you know, when you think about the rabies, that more benefit of humans. We want to make sure the cat ain't got rabies so it won't it's benefit humans and I guess it do benefit them. But it's more for us the pro the and then it's like get them fixed so they won't have a whole bunch of babies because we do, we humans don't want all these cats around. So that part, but I know that there's organizations that don't just they give them all their shots. They make sure they get the leukemia shot for cats. They make sure they get the the the, the heartworm. You know, just everything they need. Um, and when I start my um cat rescue, I don't want to just get them fixed and and um because some cats are beautiful and you want them producing i know they can have a lot of things but i don't just want to get them fixed and um rabies i want to get everything done to them because living out in the wild they got to worry about humans they got to worry about hawks they got to worry about other animals they got so much that they got to worry about and if they had all those vaccines, not just rabies, but that'll kind of help them. That'll kind of help them. But then you think about the world. And you think about how, well, me, I think about how all these diseases that these cat get, these cats get, are they, are they man-made? Like, because like Serenity... She had cancer. And you know, cats can also get feline AIDS. So it's like, <clears throat> just like the things that we as humans can get. And we know that stuff was created. So this, this stuff was created too. And these animals have to suffer too, just like humans. So I was just thinking about that. Because, yes, I do feel bad because I know if I would have took. Serenity was really sick anyway. You could look at her and tell that she's sick. But I do feel like there was a veterinarian out there. There are some people that be in their field and they could look at an animal just like me. I'm a I'm an animal doctor by nature because I'm just a human. I have a connection with and I knew when I looked at her that she was really, really sick. But I know with feral cats, they have to... I know it's always another way. It's not just one way with them. I know with somebody, it was, it's somebody in this world that could look at her and say, no, I don't think we should do surgery right now. I don't think we should. I think we should... Um, figure something else that's like just put her on antibiotics first. Because... The place that I went to, I didn't. It didn't feel, and I'm not taking away from animal aid because I'm. I done read a couple, like one or two things. I should have read a little more about them helping a lot of people that can't afford, you know, to pay all the high bills with veterinarian. It's the same thing with humans and healthcare. So I'm not getting at them for that, but I just didn't. It just didn't feel. It's like the one lady called me, the one 
with the um my meow and never. She, you know, I got the call and she said something happened with one of the cats and said she died during anesthesia. Um, she told me that. You know, she had a tumor behind the cut. Da da da. It's like I didn't really get all the answers that I really felt, even though I know she was sick. But I feel like they should have did a thorough, a thorough, um autopsy on her like and I know they they paid for it so you know I know if it just they would have just gave a thorough thing they would have told me every, you know everything was going at her because even my son asked the lady say well what was going on with her mouth because the way she ate and he said that she said that could have been another um reason of her um dying because you know feline dental is real important just like our dental so it seemed like they would have checked everything it's like they just put in a little box and 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 the interesting part by doing a little research they say majority of animals don't <clears throat> really die doing anesthesia it's like one out of so many. So. I bet they tell you that it can be. Because these are my cat that been under anesthesia probably like three times. <laughs> when he got a, two rooms and then when he done been under anesthesia. And he, I didn't like when he came back the second time. It's just certain about energy and it was up to me completely, which it was. If I would have known about the place that she was going before, I would have just saved up money and just took her to a thorough, a thorough um, veterinarian and told them that, you know, they can do the, the what's her name, but give her everything she need. Um, can we just start her off on antibiotics first to get her spirit, you know, get her up a little bit? Even though they say the cancer. But see, it was just crazy because the lady was saying the cancer was all through. The, late, the, the lady that we talked to, she said the cancer was going all up. So it was all in her. But they, it's like, I just didn't get all the answers dealing with a program like that. And I guess because they paid for it. They told me enough. They didn't tell me what everything that I, and I could accept what they told me. I accept what they told me, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like people just focus more on them and what benefits them than the animals. And I know that there's a lot of animal lovers. Like I say, it's a, it's a lady I look at on YouTube and she she don't just give them the, the rabies shot and she don't just give them the, um, she don't just give them the rabies shot and she don't just give them the, get them fixed. So they can't have babies. She also clean their ears out. She also get their teeth checked to make sure that they, um, you know, don't got no diseases. She do blood work on them. She do everything on them. And that's like, and she didn't put them, them down, her down. She put a towel over them. She just get a little blood. That's what she do. So that they didn't have to necessarily put her down, but that the organization main focus is to get her fixed and to get her rabies. That's it. But it is another. It was. It is another way to deal with pharaohs. You don't have to put them down. She had a lot of stuff going on with her, and if they would have got blood work from her, she would. They would have been like, okay, we need. That's don't give us surgery right now. I guess they just so wild they just gone and put them down it's just like I told my son it's more than one way of dealing with things alright y'all I'm finna go salon salon